Say your dog is pawing in her mouth and you see blood. Well, if you stay with me through this video, you're going to learn exactly what to do for this common dog emergency. Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. Recently it was Tula's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Tula's much. Happy birthday to you. Tula, to her surprise, got a whole pile of presents. And in one of her presents was this a stick. So just a few days ago, she zooms into the, into the house and she's pawing at her mouth kind of like this, clearly distressed. She's pawing at the side of her mouth here, running around the house, um, rubbing her face. Yeah, on the, she's rubbing her face on the side of the carpet. I mean, obviously there's something going on that's irritating her mouth. And, and it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon to have her rubber face on the, <laughs> go curl you, on the carpet. But this is more than that. I mean, clearly there's something bugging her. More often than not, she's able to get into burrs and she'll rub at her mouth there. But there is more than that. She's obviously upset. So the first big thing, you know, if you've got your dog doing that, and especially if you see a little bit of blood, I mean, the first thing I, before you run on the phone, call your veterinarian regardless, is just assess the situation. Just have a look at what's going on with your dog first. Like just take a deep breath, you know, have a look. How is your dog obviously he or she is distressed? I'm gonna try to think like, what could this be? And the reason I'm doing this video is this is a really common thing that happens. I saw so many dogs in practice with this talked to a number of different owners who've had the exact same thing happen to them at home. So I just want to show you, and it just happened to Tula as well too. Seeing Tula all distressed as you would with your own dog, just encourage you at first just to have a good look into the, his or her mouth. And I especially want you to look, I mean, just slowly open their mouth, you know, have a look around inside. You see where the bleeding's coming from. You know, why are they rubbing, your, why is your dog rubbing his or her mouth? but I especially want you to focus on up in the back of their mouth, up in between these big molars. There's these two big molars called the upper fourth premolars, and it's very common. So what happened with Tula is they're pretty much, this is the stick. She's, uh, she's running outside, she loves to bite onto sticks. And sure enough, and I've seen this so often in practice, is she had a stick just like this, wedged right up, right up here in the back of her mouth, right up between those two teeth, really, really common. So the most obvious thing is, you know, getting that stick out of there. If you can, you know what I did with Tula is just flip my finger in there and just pull it, give it a little yank, pull it out, and out it came. In some dogs, it's wedged in a little more firmly. It's more difficult to get out. You could use something, you know, such as these, these little needle nose pliers. Same thing, you know, you're just opening your dog's mouth, you know, it might be a two-person job where you can get in there, grab onto that stick. But always look in here. I mean, anytime I saw sticks, it's up right up here. The upper part, so yeah, here their upper, their hard palate up in here between these two big uh, upper fourth premolars, their carnasal teeth. So, so common. I, I, I've probably seen, you know, 30 or 40 dogs in practice with that. And Tula is like my first own dog, but yeah, happens so so often <laughs> so with Tula yes there's been a happy ending the stick came out good girl the stick came out um she's not necessarily associating the stick with pain so she's she'll just as soon go after another stick probably really happy to get sticks also for a Christmas present and if you're going to do that just make sure they're long enough that they're not going to wedge between your dog's teeth Tula look Ah, uh, it's a stick. <laughs> <laughs>